Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam and welcome to another video in our FPV flight tutorial series. And in this video, we're gonna talk about throttle management which is just a fancy way of saying getting used to your throttle stick and kind of how it feels and what it does to the quadcopter and just kind of getting a feel for the physics of the quadcopter. So uh, let's get started. Here we are in liftoff, um, same same setup as, as the rest of these uh, tutorial videos with the rates and I'm using the Skyliner uh, quadcopter here. So our throttle throttle is your friend okay so we we covered how to fly in kind of like a circuit how to do some turns and managing your throttle is a very important part of well doing especially doing um more advanced techniques but anytime you're flying around in order to maintain uh your altitude or or increase or decrease your altitude as you want to you got to constantly be moving the throttle up and down now it can kind of be hard to tell like how much to actually move it um and so what i like to do is actually practice specifically with the throttle so again we kind of talked about or we, we already covered how to hover and you know you need just enough throttle and kind of have you find that little the, that sweet spot of the throttle um to get your quadcopter to hover but one thing we also want to know is how quickly does the quadcopter accelerate and how how much throttle do we need to catch its fall so for example if we were going to do a punch out it's called a punch out where you just punch the throttle and you just soar up into the sky and then i take the throttle off now i find that in the simulator it might feel a little more floaty than in real life you know you might feel like you're falling a bit faster in real life so we just kind of fall back down and but just kind of getting a feel for that uh, maybe not going up that high in real life, but like, what does it take to go that high? Kind of just do little bursts, little hops, um, and seeing what the throttle does. Um, and then also, you know, catching yourself. So it's kind of like we're in a free fall and then bringing the throttle up. How fast do you need to raise the throttle and how much throttle do you need, do you need to apply? So if, you know, we're coming down in a free fall and then I go max throttle that might be too much throttle and then I'll end up bouncing back up and then going up and then going back down and then this kind of this whole thing. So again, just like with the, just like how we talked about with the uh, flight controls and moving forward and backwards, how there's kind of a lag, the same applies with the throttle. So um, when we add power or, you know, give it power, basically when we increase the speed of all the motors. So when we raise the throttle, uh, when we raise the throttle stick, there's a, kind of a little delay in in what it actually does. So like you can see there, I moved it uh, downward just a little bit, and it takes a little while for the quadcopter to kind of start coming down. Um, same with increasing it, it takes a little while for it to speed up. And so just, just kind of play with the throttle. You don't have to go up super high. Um, I like to just do little hops, little hops like that to kind of get an idea of like how much, you know, what does the throttle do? How much do I need to apply? Little hops of the throttle. Another thing, um, this is getting a little more advanced, but we'll, we'll talk about this more later. But uh, when you're doing sharp turns, you need to apply a lot more throttle because the quadcopter is tilted so much and and because you're you're turning so the quadcopter sort of wants to maintain uh, it wants to kind of keep going instead of turn so you have to give it a lot of throttle to sort of um direct the quadcopter around the turn again kind of like with a car how you want to accelerate a little bit as you're as you're kind of going coming out of the turn um to kind of get a good a good a nice smooth turn now, some things in real life that will make a difference uh, to how your throttle behaves is going to be, uh, well, your your rates for your throttle. So you can ch you can change that, like that throttle expo. I tend to leave it the same, um, just so that I can. I don't know. For me, I, I like to have like a linear throttle. 
Um, so I wouldn't mess with that. But if you have, for example, a three bladed propeller compared to a two bladed propeller, your throttle is going to feel different because it'll feel like you might have more thrust with the, or really more acceleration with the three bl bladed propeller. And then of course the types of motors you have will make a difference as well as the type of battery you have. So the moral of the story is that the throttle is your friend and you need to learn how to use it and learn how it affects your quadcopter just like any of the other controls because that's going to be really important in the tricks that we're going to learn how to do in this series. So thanks so much for watching everybody. I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, let me know. If you have questions about throttle management, leave me a comment and maybe I or someone else will be able to help you. And I will see you again very soon in the next flight lesson.